Houston, we have a problem. Nasty. So what exactly happened? What's up guys, so let me explain this real quick. I bought this to actually narrate the video where I wore the helmet to hide my neck, to hide the results, just in case my neck grew. But it hurt to talk last week, so I ended up not actually narrating the entire video. I ended up making it one big vlog, a week long vlog, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did see that video, me wearing a freaking motorcycle helmet for an entire week straight. So you may have seen some Easter eggs foreshadowing the future where something bad actually ends up happening to my face, my jaw, swelling, bad news. And then if you stuck around to the end of the video, you do see where I leave you hanging and I say something bad does happen and you see me in a chair and you hear the beeping noises. Regardless, I did promise I would let you guys know what exactly did happen to me in a follow-up video. That's this video. Also, because this whole incident happened, I wasn't able to make another video, unfortunately, for you guys this week but there will be one next week. So this week's video is just gonna be an explanation on my little adventure I just had. For your entertainment purposes, you guys can make fun of me as much as you want. You can be like, dude, you're such a big baby. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this video, but you gotta focus. This whole thing started early on in the wearing a motorcycle helmet for an entire week straight experiment. Helmet bib. All right, thank you. If you guys watched the video, you may have noticed within the first couple of days, I started to experience some jaw pain. Now, I have experienced jaw pain before, kind of like right here, early in the morning sometimes when I wake up after maybe like a stressful couple of days, which I believe is due to me clenching and grinding my teeth at night due to stress. Because that pain was like right here, I thought, hey, Maybe this helmet and these cheek pads that I kept complaining about in the video was kind of aggravating that TMJ. No big deal, this helmet is just kind of aggravating this uh, little issue I've had over the past year or two. And I'll either get used to it or I'll have to deal with it through this entire experiment and then when I finally get to take it off, it'll go away. Just, you know, a little bit of, little bit of flare up, you know what I mean? Now, if you guys know the pain scale, it's I think zero to 10, 10 being the most severe pain you can ever experience ever, and zero being no pain at all, really. At first, it started out about a three, just kind of like mm, an ache. Then it got to about a constant four or five, kind of like coming and going, right? Now, when it got to a five, it prevented me from sleeping. I was not sleeping good at all. I was waking up in the night and I was like, oh man, it's just like aching, right? So I ended up taking a Motrin, one Motrin, uh, 200 milligrams of ibuprofen basically. And that would kind of dim it down to about a two or a three to where I'd be able to sleep. I'm thinking like, man, I'm really irritating this joint. It's really getting irritated, really getting inflamed. I cannot wait till this experiment's done and I can just kind of like let it heal and then I can get back to normal. I felt really bad about taking that over-the-counter um, painkiller, but my usual like turmeric um, just wasn't doing enough for the inflammation, you know? It just wasn't strong enough. But I thought, you know what? We're like halfway done with this stupid experiment. Power through, you got this. Now, you guys may have seen in the motorcycle helmet video where I wore that for an entire week, all of a sudden on day five, I had no pain at all in the morning. It was like, oh, it's gone. I'm like, I knew it. You know, it was just that that TM, that joint, you know, that joint it just got aggravated. We're good. <laughs> Everything's cool, bro. And then I ended up having a trampoline session. I did a workout. I did a bodyweight workout in the basement and I thought all was good. I thought all was back to normal. I'm like, whew. Now, I'm not certain if I showed this in the video or not, but later that day, around four, the jaw pain started to creep back. It started small, started to creep back, felt like it was just kind of getting sore again, and then it started to get worse. Went from like a two, to a three, to a four, to a five, and then to like a six. Now, at this point, I was like, oh my gosh, did I aggravate this thing again? Like this bad, this is not good, but I started to get way more sus that maybe something else was wrong. I, would, I seriously, I would think I would be having some kind of crazy like tooth infection or something like just 
if I didn't have this stupid helmet on. Now comes the fun part, the excruciating fun part. Day seven of that experiment, I tried my best to compose myself for the video. I still had that glimmer of hope. I thought, you know, we're gonna take this helmet off tomorrow. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna cool off, and then it's just gonna go away, right? But deep, deep down, I had that that feeling of, of impending doom, like I just knew. Finally, we came to the day where I was able to take the stupid helmet off and measure the results. You guys who watched that video saw my attitude at the end of that experiment. I kind of really had that look in my face of just like, like just done, right? But at this point, constant pain. I remember taking the helmet off for the end of the experiment and taking it off, pulling some of that like cheek skin up it was excruciating. Like the feeling of that going up, it was just like, you know what I mean? I guess I'm not as tough as I thought. I'm not tough. I'm not tough like these other guys out there. Literally at this point, at the final day, I'm like, you know what? This, there's no way this is that uh, joint anymore. I'm like, this has got to be a toothache of some sort. I, I gotta call the dentist immediately because like the pain wasn't even right there. It was concentrated like right there. And inside of my mouth, you could kind of see my gum around the molar, the second from the back, one forward. It looked like that gum was kind of starting to swell just a little bit, bro, just getting those swells. So I called the dentist like, yo, um, hey, I think I'm having a, a tooth emergency. I was wondering if I could like come in soon. And honestly, like I was like trembling at this point. Lady picked up, she's really nice. She was like, we, we can get you in at 2.30. Actually, it was 2.40. So, however, I'm just gonna be with you guys. I, ha I haven't taken any painkillers at this point um, besides the night before to, to be able to sleep. So, it, it felt like it's definitely worn off, right? And the pain is throbbing. And it's going from a 6, in my experience, to about a 7 now of just constant, constant aching and throbbing. And I filmed some of this with, with my phone and with my camera of me being in pain because I thought... You know, I'm like, we're gonna get better and we're gonna wanna see how big of a baby I was. Maybe use this for a video, you know, praying to the Lord that I'm gonna get better, that I'm gonna heal up from this, and then I'm gonna be able to make a video, make fun of myself, and share this with you guys for entertainment. So I'm like, yo, you're gonna wanna film some of this, even though you're in excruciating pain right now. So I did film that, but the pain was just constant at this point. And honestly, like nothing was helping. I was trying some like natural things to like make the pain go away. I was doing like cloves, ground cloves with, uh, coconut oil I'm swishing it around in my mouth it's like it kind of tasted weird it kind of the taste maybe took my mind off of it but like the pain was just constant I started to really ice it at this point you know I was icing it through the helmet experiment but I was really icing it still as well that wasn't helping the pain at all you know it just felt like cool but yeah so I'm like literally pacing back and forth just right here in this room just pacing back and forth for like hours I get to like 11 and I'm like I can't I can't wait I can't wait anymore I turn I turned into one of those guys you know I'm, I'm, I recall the dentist's office it's pretty bad do you think you could get me in earlier <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I did this. I'm sorry if I bumped. I'm sorry if I caused a clog up in the system. That I just did. That's what I did. The nicely at the dentist's office, like, oh, okay. I'll, I, I'll, uh, I'll look. And she's like, really looking. She's like, really trying to help me out. And she's like, listen. She's like, we can get you in at at one at one forty, I believe. That's great. I think I can do it. I think I can wait. <laughs> Longest two hours of my life, like for real. Anyways, I finally make it to like one o'clock, and I'm like, that's it. We're going. We're going right now at one o'clock. Like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not waiting until 1.30. I drive myself to the dentist. Probably shouldn't have been driving, but I did. I drove myself there. Now, this is where things get fun. I make it to the dentist. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm like, praise the Lord. We're going to have relief. He, he's going to help me out. I'm going in the dentist to get a tooth infection fixed, but I got to focus. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Like, it's it's all good. Like, you know, and I've, I've been in pain for about like 24 hours of constant pain, you know, from the day before to, to this point. I go in there, you know, they get me in there. They're so nice there. They 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 hook me up. I'm like, yeah, the pain. Dennis comes in, you know, quickly. I didn't have to wait at, like long at all. You know, they're, they were like, boom, boom. They're helping me out. I was like, yo, you got, uh, thank you guys. You know, Dennis looks at my x-ray. He's like, huh, don't really see anything here. I'm like, <laughs> You don't see anything. Like, the gum is red, you know, like, look at the gum. And he's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, I noticed, he's like, yeah, your gum, gum does look a little irritated here. And, you know, and he's like, he's like, is it sensitive to hot and cold? I'm like, honestly, it, it was sensitive to hot and cold. But honestly, all that sensation is just like overridden by this constant pain. Like I could literally put an ice cube on it. And I wouldn't feel it because of just the throbbing pain that I'm having right here, here right now. He's just like, okay, interesting. Cause he's like, cause these x-rays, I'm not really seeing much here, you know, like literally at this point, I'm just like, 
please just take it out, just take the tooth out, just take it out, just take it out. And also at this point, there was no swelling in my face. So um, he's like, yeah, it looks a little red in there. It looks like a little irritated. I'm not seeing anything on the x-rays except for the lining of my, I think it's like perineal, perineal lining or something, looked a little thick. He was, he was sus, he was sus about that lining. He was like, he's a good dentist, so he's like, he, he so instead of just like sending me home and being like, yo, okay, rest it off, ice it, you know, take some painkillers, I don't see anything wrong. He's like, that's, that's, something's wrong there. So I'm actually gonna refer you to a specialist that can take like a head CT. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you, thank you. But, but at the same time, I was like very upset because I thought I was gonna get some immediate, immediate um, relief. I thought he was gonna light a cane me up, you know, and like, like drill the tooth out or something. I'm like, I'm like, okay, all right. I'm gonna, uh. And then he's, he's a smart guy, he's like, he's like, all right, listen, I'm also gonna prescribe you some ibuprofen 800s, right? It's like four times the dose I was taking. I was only taking like one pill of two, 200 milligrams. And I'm also gonna prescribe you some amoxicillin, which is an antibiotic, just in case all of a sudden my face gets swollen. <laughs> He was really suspecting there was something wrong. It's just the, the x-rays just didn't really show anything yet. So I actually want to give a huge shout out to my dentist and the, 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 the folks at the dentist's office treating this so urgently and getting me into the specialist so soon because when I went to the front desk where they would give me my follow-up appointment with the specialist, they actually called a couple places for me to get me in as soon as possible. And luckily there was this one place that could get me in the next day. I finally get those ibuprofen 800s and I stack that beach with a Tylenol. That took my constant seven down to about a three. That was nice, all right, that was nice. I was able to sleep that night. The only problem is it says take them every six hours. The pain would come back in about two hours. So <laughs> Now finally the day was here where I could go to the endodontist's office and hopefully I was hoping we could get this thing taken care of. And I'm thinking to myself, like, when I go into this specialist, I don't want to be all, like, hopped up on any painkillers and be like, oh, yeah, it just kind of hurts. Like, I want to be able to, to show them exactly how much pain I'm in. So my last dose of painkillers, ibuprofen and Tylenol, was at 3 a.m. the morning of the day that I'm going to the specialist. And the specialist wasn't until around 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. that day. So those painkillers wore off by about 6 a.m., or at least the pain came back by about 6 a.m., and the pain started to get super, super super bad, like a constant eight, a constant eight of pain that morning. It was bad. On top of this, this is where the magic happened, folks. On top of this, I looked in the mirror and I'm like, oh shoot, face is starting to swell right here. Now I did do my Google image research, you know, of like tooth abscess and stuff and tooth infections. And I'm like trying to compare the inside of my mouth to these like tooth infections. And I see like all these like big lumps and bubbles on these abscess with like white pus basically. But my mouth compared to those images doesn't necessarily look the same. Like it doesn't even look close. It just really looks swollen in there. Like the whole gum is like kind of swollen. So I'm like, I don't know if it's infected or if this is just a response of my body to the pain or something. So I don't even know. I'm like, okay, we can make it. We can make it with no painkillers until 2 p.m. Now the pain is back full fledged. It's like 9 a.m. I'm literally just pacing back and forth in this room right here for hours. Just seriously, just pacing back and forth. Occasionally sitting down like, uh. at this point, I was kind of like in the most helpless stage I've been in, right? I went to the dentist the day prior. He didn't see anything wrong on the x-rays. I'm going to a specialist today. Will they not see anything wrong with me and just be like, oh yeah, you just got a little swelling here. You must have hit your head while you're sleeping. You know, I'm thinking like, oh my gosh. So I'm getting kind of desperate and like literally at this point, I am not even joking. I was like 50-50 debating whether or not to go downstairs in the basement, grab some vice grips, which are pliers that can like clamp onto something, clamp my tooth, take a hammer, and whack that tooth right out. I'm not even like I'm literally fantasizing about the feeling of just like taking that tooth out basically like freaking pull a cast away But like tool and die style, you know what I mean? But I didn't do that and I don't, don't recommend doing that I just kept pacing and pacing watching that clock time could not take any slower And I just kept praying praying that this specialist would know what's going on. Okay. I'm here I'm going in pray for me I finally make it to the endodontist office a very clean looking nice place I go in there nice lady at the front desk like praise the Lord that I'm just like running into all these nice people You know, I'm, I'm so blessed to be able to have this like good these good health care places because I know this is not the same Across the country even or in in the in the world even I just got I got blessed on this one Yeah, so I'm, I'm like literally sitting in the office and like I still have like 10 minutes before my appointment and it is just like blah, 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 blah. 
blah, blah. And I'm like not trying to make this worse than it was because it's just, it like when it comes down to it, it, it's just a toothache pretty much that ended up in a face infection, but I'll get to that in a second. But man, like something about just being like on your face and like the constant pain right there, like I sympathize now with anybody, with, with anybody having any tooth pain. I seriously do, I, my heart goes out to you. Like, or even like an earache would be terrible as well. Oh my gosh, no, knock on wood, bro. I, I used to be like, oh, a toothache, like what, that's funny. No, 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 we should have a toothache awareness day. Awareness month. We should have a toothache awareness month. I'm, I'm just joking, but you know. Now at this point when going back, my face has now become visibly swollen. She's like, okay, we're just gonna take some initial x-rays here to see if anything has changed from your dentist x-rays basically 24 hours ago. The dentist sent them my x-rays from 24 hours ago. They're like, if we can see something on the x-rays, it's probably better to just see that rather than like expose my whole head to this like CT scan, you know what I mean? So they take the x-rays and boom, you immediately could see, like I could see, I'm not, I don't know anything about teeth at all except for owie. And um, you can see it doesn't look the same as it did the day before. It looks like the bottom of my teeth have like exploded almost, like put it that way. I don't know, like the doctor comes in, he's like, Ooh, yeah, wow, you're swollen. Doctor, nice doctor too, honestly. Like I'm like, once again, I'm just gonna say this. I was so blessed to have this great health care. Like no one just like, yeah. Blah. No, they were actually like, they would like talk to me and be like, you know what I mean? There's like something about that. Something about just like being nice to your patients that just makes a world of difference. But yeah, he's just like, yeah, I can definitely see some swelling in your face. Like, and um, I can definitely see on the x-ray here, it looks like we have a breach or something. And then he explained to me at this point, he's like, so I believe that pain you were experiencing over those past couple of days, kind of the whole week, was the root of the tooth dying and then fully becoming dead you know probably the past like 48 hours then all of a sudden i guess the night before the night of like after the dentist appointment the bacteria that was maybe causing this to happen broke through and bursted into my face causing the swelling my body's reacting to it causing all the swelling basically at this point this was very tender like the swelling was actually extremely tender and the swelling was actually really hurting as well like not only the jaw pain but the cheek pain was really hurting. So at this point, I'm just like, dude, I'm just like, dude, anything, just take out, just take it out, just take it out, just take it out. He's like, we, we don't have to do that. He's like, we can um, give you a root canal and and um, pack the thing with antibiotics, and it should be good. Now I am somebody who's super like, you know, holistic all the time. Like I, I know that root canals can be linked to like inflammation, yada yada yada. But dude, I'm I'm just like, just do it. Like I just want to be out of pain, and I just kind of want it to be like. Just one and done, you know? So he's like, all right, we'll get you numbed up. And yo, this is the this is the best part. Lidocaine, you know, one, two, three, four. All of a sudden the lidocaine starts to kick in and it's just like, there's like no, you know, there's no pain anymore because lidocaine basically like numbs. I think it's lidocaine, that's what I think it is. It's basically the, the numbing agent, the dentist or specialist puts in your mouth before they do like a like a cavity filling or anything like that honestly like one of the biggest reliefs i've ever experienced in my entire life like is better than taking like like a poop after not taking a poop for a week like that's like the relief as stupid as that sounds but um so he does the root canal procedure everything goes smooth packs the thing with antibiotics i actually still have to go get it finalized in like two weeks from now prescribes me with some more powerful antibiotics at this point because like the infection is kind of spreading quickly and um also he prescribes me with some uh motrin and some norco which is like you know narcotics basically i, I haven't taken any of those i i got away with just taking motrin because i'm just i'm not going to get into that you know that's a personal choice all right it's just a personal choice come home i am just not in pain anymore i'm the happiest man alive you know what i mean feeling better like when you're in constant pain for i sympathize with anyone now with if you're if anyone who's in any form of pain because getting out of that you just realize like how lucky you are just to be to be free once the lidocaine wore off it was extremely sore and the cheek infection cheek gum infection part was still aching really badly like still like a five five or six even you know really bad so I just took my antibiotics like I was prescribed and um, first three days I would have to take those 800 uh, milligram Motrins every six hours and literally by the end of four hours it felt like it would wear off and the pain was coming back hard. And I would take these with that, I would cut my extra strength Tylenols in half because I wanted to just cut this down because I know uh, Tylenol too much over the long term can really be bad on the liver 
And um, I just wanted to take as little as possible to get the most effect as possible. Yeah, I really, t I really take my like medication seriously if I ever have to take medication. And I'm also thinking at this point, like I, I don't like taking antibiotics because like it's just gonna destroy my gut bacteria and all that. But I know I definitely should take this because I don't want this to spread. I don't want this to go anywhere else in the body, and I just want this to be done. So we're gonna we're gonna take this on the dot. I just I just did it, okay? You know, and um, I'm like, yo, we're gonna we'll heal up. You know, try to restore the gut later once we get this problem solved. Let's just take care of this now. That's the most concerning thing right now. So over the next couple of days, I literally didn't do anything. I literally just kind of like sat on the couch, like, uh, you know, because the pain kind of came back and like. Kind of, but not as bad, you know, you could tell it was more of just like a cheek infection pain or something <laughs> cheek infection pain Like I've had that before and it's still not completely gone But um like I, you could probably see it a little bit the, the most important thing was every day Was a little bit better than the last day and finally just yesterday was the first day a 24-hour period where I did not take any painkillers, no ibuprofen, no Tylenol, nothing. The only thing left is just waiting for the rest to go down, uh, everything to return to normal, and then I'm gonna get it finalized. So one thing I do wanna say is I posted that motorcycle helmet video, wearing it for a week, and there, you know, some of you guys in the comment section were wishing me to get well soon, you know, hope, hope, hoping I'm okay. And honestly, like, as cheesy as it sounds, like, that actually made me feel significantly better you know as I was like recovering from this I read this one guy's comment saying like I've been there like I've had the tooth pain too um it's the worst like I like I wish you the best basically and a comment that was like relating to me like I've been there too type of comment that helped me out so much like something about being able to like you know relate to someone who's gone through something similar even though it's just a toothache, like I know I'm making this such a big deal, like it's just a freaking toothache, bro. Just, it just made me feel better. So like, I, that's why right now I wanna say anyone out there who has a toothache right now, my heart goes out to you. And thank you everybody for just wishing me well. And thank you everybody for just being there for me, basically. We're on the road to recovery right now. I feel like I'm almost there. I'm still kind of like a little bit. It's still a little swollen on the inside of there. Gum does not look too pretty. It is a little tender, but less tender than yesterday, less tender than the day before, and it's just on its way out. With that being said, we are here right now, and I am currently going through another week-long experiment for you guys. And this one is very fitting for this. It's gonna be entertaining and it's coming next week. I think you guys are gonna love it. If you want, if you like full day of eating videos, this is gonna be that times seven times a blank. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe, turn those notifications on. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.